can get the turn. And get a better pull on it, you know? Big swap them around. <laughs> you see the fire? Hopefully you did. All right. Let's give her one more. So the dumps are peeled down the intake. Because that gives you some fuel for the bottom end. That is the oil. <laughs> you don't want that one. Okay. Run, baby. guys and how's it going this is the boat that we dragged out of a pick that a friend went and uh, invited me to who had grabbed a couple of old VW air cool VW's and this boat was there they were cleaning the property out and uh, they offered it up for free it had an outboard on it it was a previous video of us getting that running we got it to run but the bottom end was just shot it, where there's grease supposed to be in the lower end it was just nothing but solid rust so that's still up in the air whether we can save that but I want to get the boat maybe up and functional so that we can test other engines, motors, upwards, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> once they are up and running. We have something as a test bed for them other than running them in the barrel. You can see that this boat is uh, definitely in need of some love. It has its uh, fair share of, uh, I would call that mold growing on it. We've got to get that cleaned off. Apparently it does pass the water test because it seems like it's holding water. The, drain plug is out of it but it seems like it's plugged itself up with some crap that's been floating around in there probably has some polywogs swimming and floating it looks like there's some uh, stuff starting to grow and live in there a little larvae or something that we'll get rid of all right so i am going to go take a minute we're going to go poke a hole in that get that water to drain out of there and maybe we will hit it with some bleach and see if that will clean it up after that we'll uh, hit it with the fresh washer all right, try not to clench. So only take a second. There we go. Make you want to pee? We'll just show those in the wife's washing machine. She won't know. Nothing wrong with those. Oh, the stink. Oh. <laughs> I once had the pleasure of cleaning out a grease trap in a restaurant. It has, reminds me of that. <laughs> I thought I saw something run. <laughs> All right, maybe uh, a rake, a shovel. Another, another 15, 20 gallons to go. Or I could just flip it on its side might be the best bet and then kind of rinse it. What do you think the chances are yeah. <laughs> that that would taste good? That that ratchet strap is going to move. I was surprised. I don't think it's terribly heavy. Once the water gets out, it is an aluminum boat. I wonder if maybe we could walk it and stand it straight up and be able to pressure wash it that way. Oh, 
all the stink. All the mooky water in the back mixed together and the nasty coffee soup. I think I'm gonna have to poke it with a stick again. Yes, yes I am. Well, that made a mess. But at least the inside of the boat's got all the crap out of it. I say we come back with a spray jug and some bleach. That's been a little pump sprayer. It's probably got, it's probably halfway full of water. I'd say we give it about 10% bleach for 20, five. See how that does for us. I was going to do a time lapse, but uh, 
it's taken too long. <laughs> so I'm going to just bring you back after a few minutes and let it kind of do its thing. It's probably been already about 10, 15 minutes of it uh, soaking in. I'm not sure if it looks a little lighter or not yet. The bottom one definitely looks better. Well, that's beaten what it looked like. I want to give one more shot to the wood. I'll let that soak one more time. I want, I'm guessing that's teak. I'm not sure. I'm going to go give them one last soak. We're probably going to sand those, maybe seal them with something. A little Thompson's water seal. <laughs> I guess the boat was blue at one time. You wouldn't have known that. Here, one last, one last light coat. We'll get her back on the trailer and get it inside. So it's actually a couple of days later and I let it dry out real good. Uh, I'm surprised how good the wood came out. I'm really glad for that. And again, I'm not sure what the wood is. I, I, I'm guessing teak. You guys will probably answer that better than I can. But it definitely needs a sand now because of hitting it with a pressure washer. It makes it the little hairs all stand up in it. So we gotta go sand it and seal it with something or else that's not gonna be too good for your, uh, your bare legs <laughs> to be sitting on that. We have to go crazy, but definitely the sections that we sit on need uh, some addressing. I'm wondering what went down the center. I, I see like some broken off pieces of aluminum. There's one there, one there. I don't know, maybe there was a runway or something down the center. I see those two. If there's a stain from something there, then that's about it. Yeah, not quite sure what would have been there. Maybe support that, no. Say maybe a support that went up to the bottom of the seat. And we have the rear transom to deal with. Of course, that's shot. So I'm going to get that out of there. And I got another piece of wood, another piece of just pressure treated. That's the only thing I was able to find local. And maybe we'll sand. We'll make a pattern. Cut that out. Sand these up. And I got some uh, polyurethane. Maybe we'll polyurethane all that stuff even before that piece goes back in so that the edges will be sealed. And give it a give it a fighting chance. I don't think it actually touches the water. That wood only goes down to you know, whatever is that level. And I'm not sure what the water line is on that. It's on the inside anyway, but 
see a stain though no, I washed them all off <laughs> sometimes you can see a water line stain where they kind of hang I'm guessing I'm gonna guess it's probably right about there all right what do you want to do you want to sand first or you want to uh, cut this piece out let's let's see how this comes out of here now that I'm looking at them where I can see brackets going down to the seat right there and then that one's broken away and that one's broken away. Looks like it had had one at one point. Yeah, but why doesn't it have... See how it's got a bolt in the center of the seat? Did it go down to that? Those have a different... And it's got one hidden behind it and then one there. Maybe we'll make up some brackets too. I'm wondering that corners too. Like this was hit at some point and somebody gobbled and... Uh, cobbled rather a corner back together with some aluminum and some some rivets I wonder if there was a brace that kind of went across like this I see some holes on that side Yeah, they're in there. I wonder if a brace kind of came across here and, and grabbed this corner So we might get into that. We don't have to use aluminum. We could We have to work with steel, but let's get ahead of ourselves. Well, the bolts are out what do you think the chances are it's just going to want to lift right out of there <laughs> hopefully it does it in one piece so that we can use it for a pattern there it goes except for that i don't, I don't think that was going to haul a boat motor See you together. Hmm. Ooh, she's squishy. You thought the front side looked bad. <laughs> Oof. Smells like it too. I'm gonna take a shot back and then go clean some of the crap out of there. See if we can put this down without it shattering on us. It is literally just holding on by a hair. You know it's gonna be a tad. I think I'm about an inch shy. I wonder if we can. Hmm. We are going to be about a. Why have we just swell, swelled up that much? I don't know about. Maybe about a half inch on each end. I'm gonna go measure over there and just see if there's anything that we can, you know, fudge before I trace it out. So we're back over at the boat. It is, you probably can't see what my hand is ending over here, but it's 48 exactly on the bottom of it. And then where the top goes to meet, it's 50. So yeah, we're gonna lose an inch on the top of each side. So while I was vacuuming that out, I had a brilliant idea oh that's yet to be seen but what if we just slipped a piece of wood in and then we traced it to the metal will that work for us if it drops in <laughs> something go wrong and I have to eat those words I think it is a center and down as far as it can go let's uh, give her a couple of I 
we go and give her one of them. Try to give her one of them. Nothing says you can't hit it with a sander later. They kind of chew it up, but make sure our angles are fairly close. Just gotta watch how you hold the marker that you don't. I don't know what was here. I don't know if it had another piece of wood on the outside and it just fell off. Maybe. We could probably get that out of what's left on top. But it was bolted right through and the bolts were short. Hmm. That would be a bad idea to look at a picture of what a what a rowboat looks like, right? See how that fits for us. Let's see the writing, which I cannot see. Which side did I? This is the side. I don't want to get an inch off. <laughs> it should be a little on the tall side because I went to the upper side of the mark. Not too bad. That one kicks up a little bit on that side. clamps on that. Suck it together. That's not too bad though. No. I wouldn't exactly say furniture grade, but so what do you think on this? What do you think was there? Because all these holes were drilled through and the bolts are only so long to catch these two pieces. It wasn't like they took it off and there was a longer bolt there. I do see, did I have anything there? I don't think there was on these. Maybe that was the piece of it. Cause you, you probably need fatter. That's what we should do. Let's go find an outboard and we'll see how much width there is for the jaws, the mount where it crushes down. Well, this little puppy right here is when I grabbed at a yard sale that it has a run issue. Grabbed it for 20 bucks or asking 50. And uh, he said that he thinks he kept, he kept, he had it totally apart and back together. Cannot figure out what's wrong. It runs for a while and then just loses all power and dies. So that's for a future video. But for now, those are all the way out. I want to say two and a quarter. I don't know if that's going to be standard. Now you figure it's got a, I don't know, a two by four. So two and a quarter, I'd say anything, as long as I'd say around two inches plus how far do they go on the inside you want to make sure that all the way in you have ample right so we'll call that for about all it's got and we'll give that one and a quarter yeah so we're going to need more material no matter what one and a quarter and that's just on this one who knows what other motors are but that gives us a general idea yeah hopefully uh Again, this is the test bed for a bunch of different outboards, and this is one of them. So, you know, that one hopefully comes back to life. It's a good good machine. If this one's all done, it's probably a, was it a five horse? Three or five? Five. So that's like three, 350 probably worth running. I right, so yeah, so we've seen which another piece, like that's not even enough right there anyway. What's it? With the metal, it's three quarter. So that's going to put us at one and a half maybe share under hair under all right let's go make i don't think it's gonna hurt us at all right there's nowhere to add that support in here not that we couldn't make a little block or something but i'd rather have it across a, a greater 
So I'm just gonna copy that pattern. I'll make a piece of wood that size and I don't know, after we bolt this together, maybe we can even use these. Right, maybe we, use, we need to center open because it's got to be able to, that looks like the, the motor was clamping down there though, in the past. All right, I'm still going forward using that. Maybe we'll get some longer bolts and we'll try to uh, sandwich the whole thing together. I'm going to measure that up, cut one of those out. And through the magic of video, let's see how close we came. That's pretty good. Now the question is, do you think I should try to use those bolt holes already there or drill some new stuff and bolt it together? Let's go see what I have for hardware. That'd probably be the tell <laughs> right there, right? Actually, we need to be long bolts no matter what. I do have a like one of those uh, home uh, hardware store, hardware boxes that has stainless in it. Let's go grab that out of there. Yeah, I thought they were going to be smaller, so that's going to be an issue. I don't know, can you see over here? So we're going to need to be able to go through all three. That's not going to do it. I think, no, actually. That could probably be okay. How many do I have? That's <laughs> if I have four. We'll just do the, yeah, we got, we got four of those, more than four. So we'll bolt it the way it was before, and then maybe we'll drill four holes on the outer perimeter, and we'll bolt this down too to help sandwich everything together. Plan. Some of you are not agreeing with me, but too bad. I was looking at drilling the top, not a problem. We can make some you know, right about there or so. And then I was looking down below where it's going to come out, make sure I was going to be inside that that channel. And these two are extra long. I have a feeling why they're extra long to you. So maybe we'll just go and whack that where it is with a hammer. Where are they? Right about there. I should make a witness mark. Where they are noise alert by the way <laughs> so i'll drill those two holes out and then we'll have the two markings for the bottom ones you could drill them and use those i want to take it all apart and uh, we can seal the wood up how close do you think we got it's drilled out to the two uppers hopefully it left two marks oh yeah plenty easy to see go drill them out I think we could uh, probably sand this one. Sand these up a little bit too. So I just got a palm sander with some old 80 grit. 80 grit, 80 grit. Let's just go see what it does. I think that'd be pretty good. Again, it doesn't need to be like shiny, shiny. Just needs so that when you, you're sitting on it, you probably don't even want it that slidey anyway. Not like you're in a boat and you want to, <laughs> you to be able to hold them on a little bit when waves come. So yeah, that should knock that down decent compared to the hairiness of what it was. So, like that. Amazed that that wood's come back.
let's go see. How nice that's going to be. This is the uh, oil base exterior urethane. Suck it up. The pores. I will bring you back momentarily once I get them all done. Got a hair. <laughs> I'll bring you back. Looks good though. I like it. Before and after. Sure, darkened it up. I didn't think it was going to darken it up that much. Being a clear, I thought it would be more like a blonde color. That's fine. That's only the first coat, too. Well, guys, it's about 20 minutes, half hour later. I got a second coat on. It was going to go for three, but I ran out. It really drew a lot of it into the the pores and the cracks. It still is doing so. But that should do. I, I, I'm not looking to go crazy on this again. We're just trying to put this together for a test bed for our outboards which I did pick up another one this weekend too, a really cool one. Art Deco looking, twin gas tanks, all self-contained unit. I know, maybe probably like a four horsepower, three or four horse. Actually, I think it might be a little hint of it. Right there. <laughs> a little teaser, we'll make a separate video on that one though. But for this one, I think we're gonna be done for today, guys. We gotta let this dry. It's oil-based, it's gonna take a little while. I did also the pieces in the back that were cut out. They are all taken care of and sealed up. So I'll give, give them a day or two. I could dry and put the back end back together and possibly do a little bit of bracing. Plus we should probably look at the trailer, look at the wheel bearings and the lights while we're at it because they, they are probably suffering from the same uh, old age and neglect that the boat was. But for now, I think we're gonna go call on this one, guys. I wanna thank all of you so much for hanging out with me and uh, having some fun bringing free junk back to life. Till then, later. What, you didn't think I was gonna show it all together? <laughs> Looks pretty good, got some more to do, but uh, should be good enough for at least testing motors in the near future. We gotta deal with those corners, these brackets that we talked about. But we'll see how it uh, flexes the back of the hull. It seems fairly stout now. Not getting much bending out of that, but we'll see in the near future how that makes out for us. But for this one, now we're done. Yard sale early in the morning, a couple of outboards sitting there. And we got this one for 60 bucks. Check out the tank on it. I know what you can see, but I'll show you later. Just wanna show you where it came from.